and gentlemen a hush comes across this crowd as the music of silver out echoes throughout the hall and silver. he takes the walk it's gonna be this is gonna be a good one like i said he's, he's really technical um technical fighter another kind of more muay thai style fighter and i think that's gonna it's gonna go well with match with dancy's athleticism and his power and speed it's gonna be a very interesting fight What do we know about Dancy again? Uh, so he's a martial artist, artist self-described coming into this matchup. Meanwhile, Silva says he's an aggressor. How do those two styles pair up? What I what I think you're gonna see a lot of is I think you'll see uh, I think you'll see Juan using more jabs and teeps to kind of keep Dancy away. And I think Dancy's game plan is gonna be All to right. explode in with combinations, to be fast, be aggressive. I think it's gonna be tech. It's gonna be you know. Muay Thai technique versus, you know, speed, athleticism, power. And I, I know um, Dancy trains out of Flagger Fight System, and they have a great coach over there, <laughs> Johans Flagger, and he gets those guys, he gets those guys ready, ready for more, so. Had a slight lighting issue. <laughs> Ring announcer couldn't see his cards. <laughs> hey, and ladies and then gentlemen, turn that pack, pack house in here. This is the first tournament, the first stand-up fight series event here in St. Louis. He's trained by Flagger Fight System, fighting out of Cahokia, Illinois. Please welcome Isaac. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleep, baby. <laughs> That's what Darrell Henry said earlier. Don't, Don't sleep, sleep, Dan. Don't sleep. Don't sleep, Dan. Don't sleep on me. <laughs> Here we go. Second, second fight now. If I was Carter, I would be, I would be in the crowd watching this. What, what? Is that a good strategy to watch the opponent? I, I mean, I feel like, I, like I said earlier, I wouldn't be able to help it. I feel like I would have, I would have to be out here watching to see what I can exploit, especially because you know you watch the, you watch your fighter when you get matched with a guy, but you know eight weeks out they could get better and you know learn some new things. Right here, this is what they're gonna bring tonight. Yes. Tonight, this is exactly what they have. So they're basically showing their cards. They're showing, they're showing their hands. So if I was Carter, I would be out here watching. You also can see what damage was applied to them, yes. and you can build on that when you yes. come back. Correct, correct. Yeah, you can see, you know, say, um, say Juan comes out here and lands like a million leg kicks on Dancy, but Dancy knocks him, you know, knocks him silly. You know, you know and then Carter says, okay, now I know what to exploit. Yep. So, yeah, that's a great idea. So, so now, now you're watching the other side, but if you're going in the ring after having seen your opponent compete right before you, do you try and work on some of your techniques to counter his stuff in this match so you, to prepare yourself sort of for that matchup? I think you have to separate that. I think you have to be able to manage that and focus on what you have ahead of you. Don't get too caught up in the next fight because you got to fight on your hands right now. I agree. Now for these two competitors, as they get ready for this round number one, they know now that one of them will move on and face off against Carter Rustio. They will be coming back later tonight and one of them will walk away with that gold belt. Anthony Bowie awaiting. Here we go. To check Isaac Danzi. Getting ready for round number one. Round one, let's do it. Bowie says, let's get it. They touch gloves and to work they go. I'm interested to see who gets off first. They both very patient here. Very patient. Looks like you got a southpaw on the rocks. That's always interesting, you know, me being a southpaw too. You know, you gotta, you gotta be able to um, 
kind of line up. It's always the foot battle. You got to get outside that foot and be able to uncork the power the power hand. It looks like Dancy's trying to do that right now. Mm -hmm. Beautiful jab jab cross by Dancy. Front kick. Juan seems like he's taking his time a little bit, trying to feel it out. Good lean back. Juan's coach is telling him to let it go. Yeah, he is. Both of them trying to find a range. Nice right. Nancy's right hand is like a piston. Just yeah. Uncourse that. Got it right in the mush. I like how he's circling out. He's making the hunt to be hit. He's keeping that distance. And he's flying right back to this. Also, also to take note, Dancy comes from MMA. Did you see that? Like, you know, he's throwing the calf kick a little bit. He's kind of, he's lighter on his feet. He's kind of, he's moving. He's has hands down. They're flowing a little bit more. And that's, that's more of an MMA style. But right here, it's working. Yep. I like oh how he moves way. out and moves right he back in. With that kick. He moves out and moves right back in yes, every sir. single yep. time. Yep. If Juan can't recognize that, he's going to be in trouble tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a long night. Action picking up a bit now. Dancy trying to fade away. So Juan's going to have to disturb that by going to the side. He needs to look for an angle. He keeps coming straight down the middle, and that's not going to work against a counter striker. Right, Ten right. seconds to go, round number one. Yeah, he needs to uncork that left hand and get to that angle. He tried it right there, but Dancy, Dancy smothered it. In the round number one, Ooh, coming to you the from yeah. the Renaissance Hotel. St. Louis, Missouri, it's the stand-up fight series. Coming to you. The Renaissance Hotel. Gentlemen, what did you see there in round number one? Well, it looked like uh, Dancy there was using a lot of counter-striking, and like Danny said, you can tell he comes from MMA. Uh, the way he's bouncing, moving on his feet, got his hands down as if he's preparing for a takedown. But he, he's moving on his feet, he's doing very well. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, I would say, um, I would say Juan, what Juan needs to do, like um, you were saying, is Juan needs to go ahead and he needs to get that angle. He needs to be able to. Dancy's winning the foot battle right now, and I think that is because Dancy comes from more of a boxing MMA background. He's used to getting that. He's used to getting the outside foot. Round number two, presented in part by HKA USA. Let's see this round two. Touch gloves and go right back to work. Silvers, corner, sand, don't get frustrated. Keep the chase. Juan looks like he's pressing forward a little bit more. Hey, 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 hey. Shot by Dancy. Followed up with a few punches. I yell, just like you were saying, Dancy stepped right outside and then comes right back in. By Dancy. Now, if Dancy would finish everything up with a kick, he'd be in much better shape right now. Yeah, I agree. Like, he did that in the first round. He kind of threw a little combination, then he threw that kick up top and caught Juan in the Oh, got the him with a right that time. Just like you guys said, his right hand is super strong. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen him stiffen people on multiple occasions with that right hand. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he just tapped the glove and threw a little left. Now, Dancy doesn't want to make the same, the same mistake Warrior made earlier and get overconfident and keep your hands down. Because it only takes one strike, and Juan doesn't look to be backing down. Oh, Juan, Juan knees now. Three knees. And he might have got a little wind out of Dancy yeah. that time. Yeah, I think I think Juan found where he needs to be, and that's in the clinch. Yeah. He's in his high style. He Which definitely is, has a clinch advantage, it looks to be. Yeah. yeah. MMA clinch is so much different than Thai clinch. It's a whole different ball. In the corner, inside of your living room now. Good kick by Juan. Oh, Dancy looks low and goes high. That was beautiful. Ten seconds to go round number two. Nice shot by Dancy. Yeah, Dancy's just stepping right out and just coming right back in with combinations. Looks, looks great. Good round. Oh, <laughs> in the round number two. Push, they pushed the, push the first round and hugged the second round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so gentlemen, tell me what did you see? I, I saw. I think Swan found, found a little bit of success in the clinch there. I, I think Dancy still got that round, but I think 
I think Juan it found where he where he could be a little successful. Yep. And I think Nancy, as far as his condition, has slowed down just a little bit. His punches are a little more labored. His reaction time isn't the same as it was in the first round. Yeah. And I think that's playing to Juan's favor now. I agree. I, especially in that clinch where you can kind of just move people around and bring their head down and make them work and make them, you know, gas for breath. And it's, it's a very it's a very taxing position to be in. If, if Nancy can get back to counter striking, I think he can pull off the win. I agree. The winner of this bout will move on in this 145 pound tournament. Round number three. And folks. Yeah, dancing right back to his counters. Juan with a beautiful OK. Juan's just walking forward, man. He's trying. Trying to just get in Nancy's face. And the thing about Nancy, he's either going to go first or he's going to counter. What, what yeah. was that from Juan? He kind of held his <laughs> arms out like, hey, come on, man. Yeah, come on, man. Get in the pocket with me. Let's go. But Nancy's, Nancy's got his plan. He knows what he needs to do, and I think he's sticking to it. Juan dropped him in the corner, though. Let's see if he can work here. Yeah, there it is. Oh. oh, he goes for the elbow. Nancy's guard is really low. Yeah. I, I think some of that is coming, you know, it's coming from MMA. You know, it's, it, you have your guard a little bit lower that you have to watch the takedowns, but, you know, it's working for Dan's whole fight. Yeah, he's opened Silva up. He's bleeding from the nose or the middle. Nice 3 2. He's been landing that 3 2 all night, just stepping right outside that foot and throwing it. Oh, good knee by Juan. If you're watching live on TV, don't be fooled by these shin pads or this headgear. Oh, no, it doesn't help that much, trust me. <laughs> it still hurts. <laughs> Nice to have, but not really much protection. Yeah. Up close in your neighborhood now, rolling on the ropes. Bowie calls for a break. Third round, Renaissance. Silva is really bleeding from that nostril now. And traditionally, it's hard to put away a Mexican fighter. They oh, just yeah. keep coming. Love his nails. Look at this right here. He traps him back in the corner with the knees. I think, I think Juan, you know, keeps clinching like this. He can take this round. Ten seconds to go. They're up against the ropes, tied up. Silver trying to put a knee in there. And that's the end. Good, good fight. Good of fight. this one. Another. Very good fight. Good fight. And the Stand Up Fight Series coming to you from the Renaissance Hotel in St. Louis, Missouri. Sponsored in part by Bums Out Swimwear, the IKF Midwest National, HKA USA, and Lightcast. What's great about this now is we've gotten to see every single fighter in the tournament. So now we, now we know what each of them are good at, and we know what they've been working in their camp. So now we can see how whoever wins this fight, how they're going to stack up to Carter. How do you guys rate this one? Who do you believe moves on in this tournament? I think uh, Dancy's going to go ahead and advance on in this one. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I think Juan might have taken that last round with the Muay Thai clip. He found success with it. It might have just been a little bit too late. But I think, yeah, I think Dancy took this with his boxing encounter. And, and the damage was very obvious.